Hello dear students welcome to DAV Moyal Public School in today's online lecture of science we will discuss about the chapter that is structure and function of living organism plants in today's topic of discussion we will discuss about shoot system in shoot system we will discuss about stem in previous videos you have understand something about understood something about flowering plants flowering plants consist of root system and shoot system into this video mainly comprises of shoot system so what do you mean by shoot system the parts of the plant above the soil which consists of stem leaves flowers and fruits is considered as shoot system so what do you mean by the statement plant which grows above the surface of the soil comes under the category of shoot system shoot system consists of certain things like stem leaves flowers and fruit in this video we will study something about stem so what do you mean by stem so it is the part of plant which grows in a upper direction that is stem so the part of the plant which grows upward above the ground is called as stem stem consists of certain parameters the first thing that is nodes so what are nodes those areas from which leaves grows as you can see in this picture there are certain things written over here so node is that portion of plant from which leaves tends to grow so those areas from which leaves tend to grow are known as nodes this portion this portion is known as node if from your leaves is arising so this portion is known as node in the same way this portion is known as node and second thing that is internode so what is internode internode is the space between two node as you can see one node is present over here other node is present over here so the portion between two node is known as internode third parameter which is associated with stem that is trunk trunk you will mainly find with trees there is a difference between plants and trees so trunk is the strongest part of tree and the last one that is bark what do you mean by bark bark is again associated with tree so bark is nothing but thick brown covering of a tree is known as bark you might have observed trees which consists which the stem looks like brown brownish in color so that thick brown covering is known as bark it is pronounced pronounced as bark now functions of the stem stems plays a very vital role so it keeps the plant straight and upright plant is able to maintain straight and upright position because of stem if stem is not there then plant won't be won't be able to maintain straight and upright position second thing that is it transport water and minerals to different parts of plants as you know you might have known that plants consist of a special type of tissues these tissues are nothing but xylem and phloem so stem consists of a tissue which is known as xylem and phloem with the help of xylem and phloem plant is able to transport water and minerals from the soil to different parts of plants so this can only happen with the help of stem third function of stem it supports leaves to perform photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight stem provides supports to leaves so that leaves can perform the process of photosynthesis and last one it helps in food transport flowering plant in flowering plant foods are present over there so with the help of xylem and phloem the help of transport mechanism of water and minerals stem provides food 
to different parts of stem. In this activity, two pictures are given over here. First picture showcase that a pot is there which is tied with two branches of trees in such a manner that pot is placed upside down in the presence of sunlight. After certain days or certain weeks, you will observe that plant starts to grow in upward direction in this particular manner. Why is it so? Because sunlight is present over here and plants tends to grow in the direction of sunlight. So from this activity, you can conclude that leaves starts to grow in upward direction towards the direction of sunlight against the direction of gravity. Gravity is in downward direction, plant starts to grow in opposite direction towards the direction of sunlight. In second activity, you observe that a pot is there, a pot which is filled with water, a color, colory water is there and a person is trying to insert a stem, stem inside the, that water. This person observes that after certain interval of time the stem initially which was green in color after certain days has acquired red color. Why is it so? This is mainly because the red color the minerals and water which was present has been transported towards the stem of this stem of this stem portion. So red colored has been transferred transported towards this green portion as a result of which this uh, stem has acquired red color. So in this from activity 2 you can conclude that transport water, water is, is being transported through stem to different parts of plants. Now modification of stem. Now, the again different modification of stem, you can analyze it. In first situation, it says that stem that stores food. Stem that stores food are comes under this category, the stem that stores food. So stem remains underground, leaves and flowers are seen above the ground. As you can see, this is a potato plant. So stem remains underground, stem remains underground. And the flowers are seen above the surface of the ground. This plants grow, this potato grow inside the soil, but above the soil, the plants and flowers grow, but the potato grows inside the surface of soil. So it comes under the category of stem. Why? Why it comes under the category of stem? Because it consists of nodes, internodes, and scale leaves. Since this potato consists of nodes, internodes and scale leaves, this potato is known as stem. So stem that stores food is an exam example of this is potato. Stem that provides supports. Stem that provides support is an example of this pea plant. It has thin stem. They have thin spring like structure. This, this stem are very thick thin as a result of which it requires an external uh, external device so that they can spring it around. This spring like structure is known as tendrils. Lastly stem that manufactures food. In this example cactus is comes under this category stem that manufactures food. Your stem is leaf shaped stem manufactures food in the absence of leaves. Cactus doesn't contain leaves. So stem does the process of photosynthesis and hence it manufactures food with the help of stem. This cactus doesn't have any stem and all. So here the stem is a leaf. The leaf itself is, comes under the category of stem. So it manufactures food directly with the help of stem. So this was modification of stem.
I hope you have understood the concept on this concept. Thank you.